Hello there. My name is Rocky. I live in China, currently. And I like to write. I write every day in my journal. And I've decided to record stories here and there that I've written in my journal. I don't know the date of this. It was a couple weeks ago. This story is titled, Don't Eat a Whole Bag of Almonds and Drink a Large Coffee if you have to shit in a squatty potty in the woods with no toilet paper. My brother Joe and his wife Hope were missing from the apartment. I sat alone listening to an album from the band Warm Soda and read about Daquan Bowers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers upcoming off season. I was bored and oftentimes when one is bored you tend to eat if food is nearby. I grabbed for an unopened five ounce bag of almonds and I snacked while I read. God damn, it was delicious. I crunched and crunched and crunched. I reminded myself of chimpanzees in the zoo that would snack on various shit in their exhibits. My exhibit was an apartment on the 13th floor. Bystanders at this zoo would be unenthused watching me chew nuts and stare into a laptop. But at least I wasn't pissing on the couch and throwing my shit at the television. Soon this all got very old. I decided to suit up and head out for coffee and write in my journal. I headed for Starbucks, lugging my usual camera and sporting my usual blue jeans. I ordered a venti. Why they couldn't call it a large pissed me off, but whatever. One venti coffee, please. God damn it was delicious. I sipped and wrote. I sipped and sipped and sipped. I'd run out of words to write, and now I wanted to go photograph. I knew of a beautiful park nearby that was more like a mini rainforest with walking paths all over it. On my way up a steep asphalt hill, I couldn't help but notice how humid it was. I leaked sweat from every pore, and I glanced down at my watch. 3.45. Suddenly my stomach rumbled and I nearly fell to my knees. Gas. It was bad, bad gas. Like a wounded soldier, I carried on grimacing and wincing in pain. The belief that this was all from almonds and coffee was easily acceptable, but uneasily bearable. I reached the top of the hill and breathed heavily, knowing very well what was going on. Shit was building rapidly in my lower intestines. The caffeine was rapidly speeding the process, while the fiber from the almonds scraped the walls of my intestines, brewing up year-old shit. Public bathrooms in China sucked for two reasons. A. Squatty potties were just square toilets on the ground. They were awkward. B. No toilet paper. The Chinese bring their own tissue in public. I ignore the pain coming from my stomach, hoping that it will soon pass. I walked along the paths, gazing at beautiful trees and dimlit scenery. It was gorgeous, but Jesus, I had to shit. Within half an hour, I realized two things. I was lost, and I was about to shit my pants. I knew soon, if I didn't find a squatty potty, I was going to be doomed, and so were, gonna, so were my blue jeans. I limped along and all I could think about was taking a massive dump. Forget a turtle head poking out. This was more like 10 pounds of trash in a 5 pound trash bag and there was a giant hole tearing at the bottom of the trash bag. Luckily I stumbled upon a shitter and I shit the most shit I've ever shit out of my ass. You should reread that last sentence. I shit the most shit I've ever shit out of my ass. I sighed in heavy relief. But soon, I frowned. No toilet paper. I opened up my camera bag. As much as I didn't want to wipe my ass with an 85mm lens, I bet it would have felt good. I tore through the bag and found this journal and tore out a piece of paper of it. Old, crunchy, recycled paper. It sucked. Now that I shit my guts out, how do I get home, I asked myself. It was like castaway. I was a castaway. I wandered the Chinese wilderness seeing stray dogs and random shit everywhere. Every exit out of the forest wasn't an exit at all. It led to more apartment complexes I could not enter. I would approach guards and they would intriguingly eye me, and I'd turn around and go back into the woods with a sweaty head and itchy anus. Fucking recycled paper, man. I couldn't wait to get home and wipe my ass with soft, cuddly teddy bear brand teepee. I finally found a highway and a taxi. The taxi looked at me. Sweaty and gross, not knowing what I'd just gone through. 
I ordered them to take me to the Walmart near our house. We didn't say a single word while I sat in the taxi, going over what just happened to me. I walked home and took pleasure in wiping my ass that night. I looked at my watch. It was 6.04. The castaway was finally over. The end. <laughs>